Hello YouTube and welcome to Brainstorm, where I try to give you a glimpse of what happened this week in the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of medicine, as researchers have uh, designed a protein that prevents the AIDS virus from entering cells. This artificial protein is based off a naturally occurring one that already protects cells from the AIDS virus. The reason this natural protein was never considered as a drug candidate is because it causes harmful side effects. So researchers were able to isolate and stabilize the fragment of the protein that actually affects the AIDS virus. Not exactly a full cure for the disease, but definitely a significant achievement. Okay, let's shift gears and turn to the world of nanotechnology, where at Hebrew University in Jerusalem, they have achieved a breakthrough in developing semiconductor nanocrystals. When semiconductors are manufactured, impurities must be added to the material to fine-tune the conductivity. However, introducing and detecting impurities in nanocrystals that are only tens of thousands of atoms each proved difficult. But after five long years, the researchers discovered a room temperature chemical reaction to do just that. And this is exciting because such tiny semiconductors have applications in many different technologies. Our next story comes from the world of biotechnology, where researchers in China have genetically engineered 300 cows to essentially produce human milk. The cows were spliced with some human genes to produce what is being called human-like milk with more nutrients and the same immune-boosting effects as regular human milk. The researchers say it is as safe to drink as regular cow milk and hope it will become a more nutritious replacement for regular baby formula. Now, I know the show so far has been a bit biology heavy, but this next story is for the astrophysics fans. This is an image created by someone working with the Kepler Observatory. It represents the planets it's discovered. With 1,235 potential alien planets, 45 of which are in the Goldilocks zone. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Brainstorm. Uh, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this, and you can go watch the previous episode by clicking the annotation. Thanks.